Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Daily Alignment Show. I am your host, Rachel Archelaus, and we are here on this really cool week about telling yourself the truth. Big stuff. Really, really big stuff. I hope you are internalizing this. I hope you are finding it fascinating that we carry things that aren't our truth. Like, what the F, right? So, what is today's message? I don't know. We've had a great week so far. It's all like really made sense, of course, because our higher selves are giving us the guidelines. What is our message for today? Ooh, embodiment. Very nice. Embodiment is, again, the realization of our truth. The embracing of our truth. It's the physical manifestation of our truth. It's us being our truth. Embodiment is when we are being our truth. That's why it feels so good, right? Yesterday we talked about how your truth feels good. This means that if you are going through life without feeling good, being your truth more will help you feel better. <sighs> that is such a good thing to know. It is such a good thing to know. It's so important because a lot of people don't feel good. A lot of people don't feel good. And if they knew how to access their truth and how to be their truth, make decisions based on your truth, i.e. make decisions that feel good because your truth feels good, like, we're just doing some math here, right? <laughs> That's how to feel better. Can I just be honest with you? All right, I am in graduate school in a science program, right? It's, it's, a, it's interesting, right? I'm learning new math. We're, uh, we're into the textbooks. And yesterday I read an article about how scientists still don't know what causes depression. And there's like all these studies, right? The serotonin lie of like, it's not a chemical imbalance. They don't know what it is. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> maybe it's this, maybe it's this. People are just trying to live lives that aren't theirs, that aren't theirs. And I'm not trying to generalize and say I can solve, you know, what depression is in a sentence here. But I'm just saying, Maybe we need to look a little bit deeper within, right? Maybe we need to ask people, how are you making decisions? How are you looking at your life? How do you feel about yourself? Are you know, like, like we can do this. We can do it. We can. And just on a purely personal level between me and you in this, right? Are you making decisions that feel good to you? Are you making decisions that feel good to you? Are you embracing your truth as often as you can? You can. And if you feel like, oh my God, no, I can't. There is a way. There's a way. It might not be the way you want at the moment, but choose the way that is available now and then the pathway will open up. So, all right, now I've made it very heavy. So let's go to Intimate Alien and see what she has to say. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am Intimate Alien. Today we are speaking about embodiment. That is being your truth in your body. I am borrowing a body right now, but I am embodied in this moment. I'm living my truth physically, right? Live your truth physically. And you know what that does? It allows your physical environment to match you to match your energy. So when you bring your higher dimensional energy into your body, your world transforms in a way that is pleasing to you. It's pleasing to you. If you refuse to live your truth physically, your life will not look good to you. It won't feel good because you are refusing to feel good here. Does that make sense? If you feel good in your body, if you are engaging with your truth, your world will respond. It will be friendly. It will be fun. It will be abundant. If you refuse to do that, your life won't feel very good. You hope that makes sense. 
So what can you do to up your embodiment? How can you make decisions that let you live your truth? Well, most often there are beliefs in your carry-on case, your luggage, as you would say, that make it seem harder than it has to be. Right? You may, you may not be making decisions that match your truth because you think it will lead to you being fired or you won't be able to have any friends or whatever. Bad things will happen if you live your truth. But we would say bad things happen when you don't live your truth. And so whatever negativity you are experiencing now would more than likely be alleviated if you lived your truth. So there are some ways to help yourself get over that. Meditation, making little changes to show yourself that it works, calming down, soothing yourself, lots of different ways. Most of all, it just comes down to caring about how you feel. Care about how you feel. Care about yourself. Make yourself more important than other people. Right? How you feel matters. We know that sounds a little selfish, but why should you put others first? What makes them more important than you? They should put themselves first. Right? We're not trying to leave anyone out, but truly you can only be responsible for yourself. Vibrationally, everyone is a source being. So do this, work this out for yourself, see what feels good in your heart, see where your truth lies. There will be a way to feel good. <sighs> you can also practice seeing your energy come into your body. Let us do that now. Sit back and imagine your non-physical self. Imagine it coming into you, coming into your body from all different ways. It's like you turned on a big magnet in your heart and all the pieces of you are coming into your body. Imagine that. Imagine what that feels like. How is that for you? How does that feel? What, what makes it feel different now than before you did that? Do you feel more full? Do you feel more present? Maybe this is something to do every day while you are getting ready in the morning. <sighs> it pays off to be embodied. So we will send you back to Rachel. All right, we really need the dance party today. We gotta dance this out. We gotta let it go. <laughs> we gotta integrate, right? We gotta embody. I keep moving my chair too much. So I hope you have a great day. I hope that this is making sense to you. I hope you're feeling lighter, more liberated already. I hope you're ready to make decisions based on your truth. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.